Jeffrey worked and reworked and was very collaborative via long distance. Um, and over the past two weeks, my role has changed a lot. Um, I was handed, I have an, an enormous speech. Mr. Puff is a professional liar in the press. He's a press agent, an ad man, he writes copy. Um, he's a con man, really. Um, he's very much a man of our time. Spin doctor, you might call him. Uh, because he works uh, uh, not only writing false uh, reviews for plays, which he hasn't seen and hasn't read, uh, but he also promotes politicians who have no qualifications for their offices except their wishes into office, which is certainly something to the political scene today. Um, he uh, buries uh, product placement in what one might think to be a new story, but it's in fact native advertising. Um, so there's a very dense speech uh, that is a whole scene in Sheridan, uh, but, but Jeffrey's very cleverly condensed it into a speech with about four or five big jokes. So the after dress workers really saw that, and he rewrote the speech. And I got it the night before, on my night off, I got it the night before the first preview, so okay, I learned it. And then, uh, and then he saw the first preview, and uh, I thought that I kind of fumbled that in a couple of places, and I thought, okay, that's my Waterloo, but it was just my, it was just my winter in Moscow, because he rewrote the speech again. He said, no rewrites are coming, and then at two o'clock the day of the second preview, I got an entirely rewritten speech for the 7.30 preview. So I learned it and put it in, and one of the characters is an indignant correspondent complaining about a dirty book, who at the end of the puff, at the end of the advertisement, uh, places, uh, you know, lets the reader know where he can buy the book and why it's so uh, attractive, uh, why one would read, want to read about these orgies uh, uh, involving various famous persons uh, about whom it makes no attempt to disguise their identities. Sort of an answer prayers, I guess, for the 18th century. And uh, I gave that the character of the letter writer incipient dementia because uh, on stage I was sort of trying to pull the words out of the air and, you know, and the letter writer was too. So that was a crutch I kind of leaned on for about four or five, six performances. So I would say I learned a really valuable lesson, and that is that I just made a decision at half hour that I wouldn't know what was going to be coming next, and I would have to be comfortable in that place. And it was, and landed the speech, uh, which was very gratifying. Um, in terms of Inspector Hound, uh, I knew it worked, but the delight, without revealing too much about the play, because it, it not only works as satire and as a work of absurdism, it works as a mystery. So hearing all of the plot points land with an audience, as well as all of the you know wonderful uh, wordplay that Tom is so famous for, uh, has been a delight. I've also really enjoyed working with his cast. Uh, I've developed a real rapport with John Aline, who plays uh, Mr. Birdbooth, the critic uh, who's uh, uh, Mr. Moon's partner, watching this ghastly Agatha Christie mystery at Inspector Hound. I remember a time in rehearsal where, where he and Michael and I were really trying to figure out in what reality we were exactly operating um, as we launched into our attempts at a final review for, for this play, somewhere in the second intermission. And uh, John just stopping in the middle and saying, I just want to say I love this. And, and uh, I felt the same way, and I was really touched by that. Just the opportunity to sit with a master like Michael, my teacher, uh, and really break down moment to moment what actions we're playing, uh, what it would mean to, what, if we if we're existing in a, in a reality that isn't the reality on stage, there are the reality in the audience, but maybe a third reality where we're speaking to our publics as critics. Um, and I think we all we were arrived at a place where we were all happy, where everybody knew exactly what was going on. Um, I've really enjoyed the process.